Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to take you through my five tips and tricks to make any micro or mini sized quad fly great and I'm going to do it in less than five minutes so let's get into it. Step one is to get rid of long VTX antennas. These are going to waggle around in flight creating vibrations and oscillations that are impossible to tune out. Instead of an antenna like this, try a short stubby antenna like this. This isn't going to create any vibration and it's also much, much more durable. Alternatively, mount your antenna to a stiff piece of TPU like this so it can't move around while you're flying and create vibration. Tip two, enable bi-directional D-Shot. So connect to your quad, go into the configuration tab, make sure that bi-directional D-Shot is ticked, then, with a battery connected, go into the Motors tab, turn the motors on and check that you're getting RPM data from all four motors and that your error percent stays at zero. Step number three is to reduce prop wash by reducing our filter delay. To do that, we're going to go into the PID tuning tab, the filter settings, and we're going to turn off all the gyro low pass filters which aren't necessary for most mini and micro sized quads. Then we're gonna set the dynamic notch filter to a width of zero and a Q of 250, which is what the devs recommend for use with gyro RPM filtering, which is what we turned on in step two. And then for the D-term low pass, I suggest starting with 100 Hertz bi-quad filter. And if that's not enough filtering, if you're getting rough sounding motors, Try going to 95 or 90 hertz by quad, but 100 should be good for most quads. And then hit save. Step four is to improve the responsiveness of the quad by increasing our PID gains. To do that, we're going to go into PID profile settings. We're going to turn off D min because we want to have a constant D term. And then we're going to increase the master multiplier by one or two ticks. And then we're going to go and fly. And if we don't hear any ticking or oscillations or rough sounding motors, we're going to go up another tick and fly again. And if it still sounds good, we're going to go up another tick and fly again. On most quads, you can get to 1.4 or 1.5 before you start hearing oscillations and rough sounding motors. Once you start hearing those symptoms of oscillation, just go back one or two, and that's gonna be perfect. Step five is gonna be increasing our stick response gain to make sure the quad stays locked to the sticks. To do that, we're just gonna move this slider up until it's equal to whatever you found for the master multiplier in step four. And that's it, click save. And that's all there is to it. Five steps to a great flying quad. If you want more information on all of these steps, I've put links to videos where I go into much more detail down in the video description. Make sure you like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy flying.